America's short track legend, Junior Hanley. I always like to go fast and, uh, you know, I just started, you know, going to the tracks and I liked the stuff, what was going on. And uh, we, when we went to Ontario, it was some really good racing. Sometimes you race five times a week and uh, it was really cheap racing back then you know like you could build your own motors in the back of the truck and you know build your own car and stuff and uh, it's just uh, unbelievable how it's grown through since I started racing I look at pictures of the cars that guys showed me here when I first started and now you look at the cars now and it's uh, really grown you know and uh, when I left down here the racing wasn't very good and uh, right now the racing is better down here than it is in Ontario. Bobby Allison was really my hero uh, you know, for a long time and I guess he still is really because he was a guy that you know, could build the car and I talked to a lot of guys. He raced on the dirt, he raced on the asphalt, he went to Indian qualified. He could drive any kind of a race car as long as it had wheels on it and uh, he was really my hero and I guess he still is. I was sponsored by uh, McDonald Chevrolet and uh, Mc, uh, back at then Terry Clattenburg was driving for Forbes and me and Terry never ever seen eye to eye and uh, we, were, we got in a lot of trouble with me and Terry. Matter of fact that was the reason I went to Ontario but I thank him now for, for the deal to go in Ontario but so they, I don't know if they Terry split up or Forbes split up or whatever and they hired Jimmy Hallahan to come down here and drive their race car. And the first night that Jimmy Hallahan come down here, we were racing at Halifax Atlantic, or Sackville, I guess it was. And the first night we raced, we hooked wheels, and he went out of the ballpark and went out on a drag strip and come back in. And it was just a racing accident, and uh, it was almost like everybody thought it was going to start over with me and Terry again, same as it left off, but it didn't. When I moved to Ontario, I drove up there and I got a chance to go down south one time. And I went to New Smyrna and won the series down there one year. Seven nights we won, I think eight nights or something, and one of the other racetracks. So we run seven at one and one at the other racetrack. So a guy bought me a Bush Grand National car and he wanted me to drive it for him. And I had the business then and it was going really good. And we went down to Charlotte, North Carolina for the weekend and I took three motors with me and he took three motors in a car and we broke all the motors before we even got the race. I might have went down there and I might have been made out good and made a really star or something nowadays or what. But I had a really good business and I looked back at the business and I decided to stay in Ontario and, and work with the business and not bother going down there. And, uh, and maybe it was a mistake but I, if I had to do all over again I probably would have did what I did. I made money at racing and a lot of guys that you know can't say they ever made money at racing but a lot of the money that I made was through car building and I had a lot of good customers. Alan Quickie, he bought cars off of me, uh, uh, Dick Trickle, uh, Bill Elliott, uh, Gary Ballou, I mean I sold cars uh, Texas, everywhere and uh, I had a really good car business and uh, that's what kept me racing. Uh, I guess the best moment in my racing was that uh, I went to Pocono, Pennsylvania with a late model car and uh, they were running, uh, they called them Outlaw Modifieds and uh, Richie Evans was running then, and, uh, uh, Bo Dine, all the guys from down, Satch Worley, all them guys and they run big blocks with wings and all that stuff and I went there with a late model with a 350 motor and won the race. I guess that would be the, uh, the best race I ever had really. Everybody, uh, you know, can't run good all the time. And like you, uh, you know, you got four tires on the car is really the main thing that makes the car run good. And if those tires change sizes by anywhere, like everybody thinks a quarter inch or a half inch ain't much, but if they change a half inch, you could take you from the lead to be running last. And uh, as long as I run up front and I can race with guys, you know, side by side and stuff like that, that's a good race to me. Like if I could come here and run, me and Scotty could run side by side and Scott Kelly and Roley and all those guys run bumper to bumper for a hundred laps. Uh, and if I was six when it was over, that would be a good race to me, you know. And if I won, it would be a good race. But I would, you know, I'd build all those cars and uh, if all those guys beat me, I would, I would be really proud of that. All the fans that I ever had and all the fans that I ever will have, uh, they were behind me all the, all the way and uh, I really like to thank them a lot and uh, a lot of times you don't get to thank them, you know, you're busy and you they walk up and you're busy and they think you don't want to talk to them, but 
you know, like uh, a lot of fans are really understanding, so I'd just like to say thank you. We're going to run six heats today, 20 laps of heat. They joke about it. You know, they're always saying, well, you know, your fellow brothers from Canada are going to come take our money because they have for the last three years. And uh, there was, in fact, a story this week's paper down here. Will the Canadians take the money again or will it stay here finally? And uh, but I think that's great. That's part of the tradition of the Oxford 250. Pleasure in meeting you and learning a little bit about your background as as a racer. It's an inspiration, and it's it's always neat to to meet other people from other parts of the world, and and we have a common goal or or something in common, and, and that is uh, having been race drivers, and, and and it certainly has been nice to come to Canada uh, to meet a lot of true race fans here. I've been pleasantly surprised at the number of race fans that I've seen here. We have a, a real good following. Uh, I'm one up on you because uh, I read a lot of the, uh, the uh, books that they put out in racing and I've read through many a time there and, and I guess I got your whole history. So <laughs> uh, I think you're a very fine fella. Well, I appreciate that very much. And, uh, and we'll look forward to sort of following uh, uh, the sport up in this part of the country as well and uh, well, wish you the best nice. in your endeavors and, and all the people much. you come in contact with. Thank you very much.